One in four kids in the U.S. are bullied on a regular basis. Between cyberbullying and bullying at school, the school bullying statistics illustrate a huge problem with bullying in the American school system. Um, you have physical, verbal, social, and cyberbullying. The main types of bullying are physical abuse, verbal abuse, and cyberbullying. Is of course the bully, the target, and then the bystander, and that's the person who witnesses but doesn't do anything. The person or people that are actually doing the bullying, and then bystanders who do nothing to stop the bullying be the defenders the friends of the person being bullied the actual person who is being bullied adults surrounding that person teachers counselors parents adult family administrators police officers anyone in the community that has a um space in that person's life According to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention, suicide is the 12th leading cause of death. In 2019, students grades 9 through 12 reported 8.9% 9, 8 of them had made at least one suicide attempt in the past year. 93% of Americans believe that suicide can be prevented. It's usually when it has pushed somebody so far that they have depressive thought thoughts and they get to the point to where they feel hopeless and full of despair. Um, this didn't actually occur for the bully as well. When the person being bullied just can't take it anymore, they feel like their life doesn't matter, no one likes them, no one cares about them, and they just feel useless and worthless and they just don't care anymore. Would be uh, them talking about it, sleeping too little or too much, or mood changes. There are several warning signs for suicidal thoughts and ideations. They may present themselves differently in different people. Um, for example, um, the person may become withdrawn from friends and family and things or activities that they would normally enjoy. Um, they may write journal or write in their journal or write notes about their thoughts about killing themselves. Um, they may talk about um, potential suicide, saying no one would care if I was gone, no one would notice if I was gone. Um, and then just being very re withdrawn from everything around them. And the best way to prevent bullying is by being there for the person, asking how they feel and helping them get connected to other people. We can prevent bullying in several ways. Um, first, you have to talk to your class or your students or young kids, teenagers, about what bullying is, what it looks like, um, what it sounds like, what bullying is not as well. Um, some people confuse people being mean as bullying. Um, Encourage people to be upstanders, not bystanders, if they see bullying going on. Have open um, waves of communication for the person being bullied to talk or speak with an adult or someone that they trust. Um, let the bullies know that there is or there are consequences for their actions, that they cannot just do this and get away with it. Um, hotlines. Um, bullying prevention suicide hotlines for students to call. Uh, Above, I have included three resources both for suicide and for bullying prevention or help. There are many more resources beyond what I have listed. All you have to do is ask for help and help will be given.